everyone, it's Kate Platt with my week three presentation. I learned a lot of stuff this week in my reading and my studying, but I just wanted to share a few of the most prominent insights for me from this week. So I read the Increase in Learning chapter four where Elder Bednar is talking about um, spiritual learning and the doctrine principle application pattern for receiving revelation and for furthering your insights about the gospel. So one of my questions was, um, how could I apply that same pattern to secular teaching? I'm going into English education, I want to teach middle school, so I was hoping that I could find a connection between gospel learning as well as secular learning for my benefit and for my students' benefit. So as I was thinking about it, Sister Edgington made a, a comment um, asking, well, maybe what are the doctrines of English itself? So I thought about that, and then I, I realized that I was looking at it too specifically. Um, I thought about it more, and the insight I, I kind of gained from that was that education itself has doctrines. You'll see that on the slide that I've presented, um, that all of education, no matter what you're teaching or what subject, where, what setting, you're going to have these fundamental truths of education that were modeled by Jesus Christ. I've added some here, maybe you'll be able to think of your own, but I've said um, learning will en enrich your life and the lives of others, being the students you teach or people you associate with. You need to teach out of love for your students, and education can change people who can change the world. So these are kind of overarching principles of all education. And then if you think of that a little more specifically, you go down to the principles level, and I would compare that directly to the subject or area you're teaching in. So English, science, math, uh, whatever you're deciding to teach, that would be your principle, right? And then uh, the application would go even more in depth to the specific units or specific areas that you teach within your general subject. So for me, uh, for example, I would do education can change people who can change the world. Um, that would be the doctrine. Then I would choose the principle, which would be my English teaching, English as a subject. And then um, the application might be a, liter a literature unit where we talk about Martin Luther King Jr. or about Anne Frank, uh, where you're teaching people about situations that can then change the world, right? So it goes in that kind of broad pattern, then a little bit more direct, and then um, a very specific unit. So I hope you guys have more insight on that. I would love to hear it. It's just kind of a skeletal idea for now, and thank you so much. Have a great day, you guys.